Hi, uh, this is Logan Leroy and Sean Little. Hi. Behind the camera. Um, I just want to preface what you're about to see by saying that we in no way think that it is a work of art or that it's any good. Um, we just don't want to be in the video. We don't want to act. So all of the characters are going to be played by rocks with sunglasses drawn on them. This is our Prospero. He's a large rock. And you can tell he's Prospero because his magic cloak is being played by what appears to be a latex glove. This is our Ferdinand. He's a medium-sized rock, so you can tell he's younger than Prospero. This is our Miranda. She's smaller than both the Prospero rock and Ferdinand rock, so you can tell she's younger than both of them. And uh, she's smooth. That makes her somewhat effeminate. Ferdinand, if I have too austerely punished you, your compensation makes amends, for I have given you here a third of mine own life, or that for which I live. Once again I tender to thy hand. All thy vexations were but my trials of thy love, and thou hast strangely stood the test. Here, afore heaven, I ratify this my rich gift. O oh, Ferdinand, do not smile at me that I boast of her. For thou shalt find that she will outstrip all praise, and make it all halt behind her. I do believe it against an oracle. Then, as my gift, and thine own acquisition, worthily purchased, take my daughter. But, if thou dost break her virgin not, before all sanctimonious ceremonies may with full and holy right be ministered, no sweet aspersion shall the heavens let fall to make this contract grow. But barren hate, sour-eyed disdain, and discord shall bestrew the union of her bed with weeds, so loathly that you shall hate it both. Therefore take heed, as Hymen's lamps shall light you. As I hope for quiet days, fair issue, and long life, with such love as tis now, the murkiest den, the most opportune place, strongest suggestion, our worser genius can shall never melt mine honor into lust to take away the edge of that day's celebration when I shall think her Phoebus steeds are foundered or night kept chained below. Fairly spoke. Sit then and talk with her. She is thine own. What Ariel, my industrious servant? Ariel! In this scene, Ariel will be played by a red, white, and blue Mickey Mouse antenna topper. What what, my potent master? Here I am. Thou and thy meaner fellows your last service did worthily perform, and I must use you in such another trick. Go bring the rabble, over whom I give thee power, here to this place. Incite them to quick motion. For I must bestow upon the eyes of this young couple some vanity of mine art. It is my promise, and they expect it from me. Presently? Aye, with a twink. Before you can say come and go, and breathe twice and cry, so, so, each one tripping on his toe will be here with mop and mow. Do you love me, master, no? Dearly, my delicate Ariel, do not approach till thou dost hear me call. <laughs> well, I conceive. Ferdinand! Coming! Look thou, be true. Do not give dalliance too much the rain. The strongest souls are straw to the fire and the blood. Be more abstemious, or else good night your bow. I warrant you, sir, the white cold virgin snow upon my heart abates the ardor of my liver. Well. Now come, my Ariel, bring a corollary rather than want a spirit. Appear and pertly, no tongue, all eyes, be silent. So there you go. Our video of scene four, act one of The Tempest or at least most of it, played entirely by rocks. Uh, I want to reiterate that that oh, we don't think that it's all that great, but we're just way too lazy to do it ourselves. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, Sean's mom is making chicken, so I'm going to go get some of that. <laughs>